Hi, I'm Dan. I run a successful fitness consultancy in London. I've also been a trainer for 10 years. Outside of London, I've worked in Sydney, New York and Rio de Janeiro. I work with actors and models, and I'm here today to give you some fitness tips. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to get JLo curves. Now, if you want to look like JLo, you need to train like JLo. She's a big fan of these kettlebells. I'm going to show you a circuit which involves the entire body. Let me show you first, then I'll break it down and explain it for you. One more time. Now what I'm doing, I'm doing three different exercises. It looks quite complicated, but it really isn't once you get the hang of it. First exercise is the swing. I'm bending my knees and I'm throwing my hand up. What this does, it works my glutes, my bump, strengthens my lower back, and it also is a good cardio move because it's quite quick and powerful. Next, when the kettlebell is here, I'm pushing it up. That's essentially a shoulder press. What this does, it works, tones my shoulders. And finally, I'm doing something called a windmill. This is quite a famous kettlebell only exercise and it's really good for strengthening your core and giving you definition and tone on your obliques, these muscles here. And when I go up, I slowly reach down, I keep looking up at the sky and I come up. So you put them all together, you have the swing, the shoulder press and the windmill. Total body workout. If you do this, I recommend doing it for five minutes at a time really knackering, have a bit of a break, then do it again. If you're a girl, you should start off maybe six kilograms kettlebell. If you're used to weight training, move up to about 10 or 12. And there's some tips on how to get JLo curves.